Okay, guys. So, I'm at home. And th that is Apollo, our escape artist. And as you can see, he's pulling on the fence with his mouth. He's trying to push himself through the fence. And what he's trying to do is get out here to me. So he's going to try to push himself. Yep, biting on it. I'm um, trying to push out. He is a clever, clever dog. Nope, that didn't work. And that didn't work. But... So this is what we need to replace. So as you can see, it started with that the wood part, which is a low fence. That's probably about 15 years old. And definitely, as you can see it moving, it needs to be replaced. And, um, <laughs> and then we put this chicken wire on top. There's two levels of it right now because Apollo had figured out how to pull it down and just crawl over the fence whenever he wanted to. But um, now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it goes up, what did you say, about seven feet high? Probably about six and a half. And that's Johan right there. He's the one that did this little handy project. This is basically our temporary solution until the pet playground arrives, which should hopefully, fingers crossed, be here by this weekend. But, um, you know, but yeah, you can see he's doing everything he can to get out of here. And it's not good. So... Until the new system comes, we, um, when he is out here, he has to be out here under supervision. He can't be out here on his own because I actually wouldn't put it past him to figure out how to get out of this despite what we've done because he's freaking smart. He's very, very smart. And Apollo is just basically going through and testing out, looking for a weak spot. And this is basically what he does. But you know, we had a coyote come through the property. I don't know, for you guys who don't know, there's a lot of sun but this is our property and I'm standing in what's going to be the new dog yard um, and so this what you're looking at is going to be where the new dog yard is and it's going to incorporate some of that a lot of that and then come out all around this area right here but I don't know if you guys can see but down that hill that's where a lot of wildlife comes through our property and that's when we have um, you know coyotes we have deer and we cannot hand have them we don't want him coming out and jumping out to chase them out of curiosity now he's basically trying to squeeze through um, right here this is an area down here where he bit through the fence but yeah he's he's basically a very um, clever clever boy So, hey guys, it's Kimberly from Keep the Tail Wagging, and here is an update on the pet playground system. We've had it for a few months now, um, finally seeding the dirt part, um, but it's holding up great. It hasn't, we haven't had any escapes, we haven't had any escape attempts, um, but it's going really well, and I love it. I think the only problem that I, we've had is, if you look up here, this is a gravel path that comes down to the yard and the dogs were using the bathroom on the gravel path. I think all of them except for Rodrigo and Apollo. So Scout and Zoe were like free for all, we can go here. So I added these planters with some bushes that I picked up as well as some hostas. This part is shady during the day so the hostas will do great here. And then a few plants um, because I'm hoping to turn this into a clear path all the way down and we'll be using some training treats to make sure the dogs understand that. And then as these grow, I'm hoping that they will create more of a privacy screen because we have a window right there that's getting a ton of sun. Um, and I'm hoping to create a privacy screen, but also um, it also blocks the fencing because if you come to here, I am 5'3 and I come right up to the fencing. So it's pretty low right here. And although Apollo hasn't jumped on this, we think that as these grow up, this will also prevent him from jumping on it because they'll be in the way. So, and that was just Apollo that just ran down into the yard. So yeah, that is an update on the pet playground system. I think that this was the best investment that we've made for our dogs besides pet insurance and their raw food diet and their dog training and veterinary, you know, wellness checks. 
Okay, so everything we do for our dogs is a great investment. But this is one of many. And, you know, I can't tell you how excited I am about it. And he's excited too. And he just peed on my new bush. Way to go, little jerk. So I guess that's also a thing that's going to happen. Is that the dogs are going to treat my bushes like toilets. Which is something that I didn't think about. Yeah, you're the one that did that. That's your pee. Yeah, I saw you. Hey guys, it's Kimberly from Keep the Tail Wagging and this is winter 2020. Um, several months after we installed the dog yard, which was summer 2020, and it's still going great. We love it. I mean, this yard is so much bigger than our other yard and there's no way we could have done this using a traditional fencing system affordably. But this we were able to do within our budget. Because the fencing is movable, Apollo can't climb out of the yard, nor can any coyotes climb into the yard. There's a dig guard that keeps him from digging out of the yard, and he can't chew through the fencing. So for us, this is an escape-proof um, solution that doesn't cause any harm to our dogs or the wildlife around our property. We love it. It's a great system. Mm -hmm. 